Hi everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take this existing arrangement that I did in another video and transform it into this new floral centerpiece. Okay, so to change my arrangement I will need some different flowers and I've got these little yellow flowers. This is from a bush that I went ahead and I've already cut up into single stems and I also have this pretty little uh, flowers. I, I got these both at Hobby Lobby, by the way. I had, I've had these for a while now. I got a collection of this one for a wedding video that I was doing that was Farmhouse, which is where I made this arrangement. So I'll go ahead with the link so you can see how I did this. Uh, but now I want to change it over, but I'm still going to use these same kind of flowers in there. And for the greenery, I'm just going to recycle what's already in there. And I think I'm going to leave the candles. I'm not really sure about that yet because I do have something else that I want to use. And that is one of these little bird nests. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby and they had 80% off all of their uh, Easter. So this is from their Easter collection. So you want to look at things like that, like things that are on clearance and they can go for other seasons. Uh, so you want to keep an eye on things like this and then just save them and use them uh, for something else besides what they're intended for. Now, these were, I think, six, yeah, $6.99 and I believe I paid $1.40 for them because they were 80% off. So I got a really good deal and I only want to use one of them. The other thing about them is that it has these uh, three little eggs in there. It's got a pink, a blue, and a green. I do like the green one in there. Uh, I think I want to change over the pink and the blue. So I had purchased this little package of little Easter eggs as well, little uh, speckled eggs. This little package was $5.99, so I only paid $1.20 for them. And look at all the little eggs I get in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them over. So that's another thing you want to be looking for is items like that that can be used for different season. Okay, so for my tools, I'm going to be using wire cutters because I do need to cut these stems at specific uh, heights. And then I'm going to cut these from the uh, bush. I also have a couple of little wooden sticks. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that to prop up my little nest. I need to decide how I want that to look. Uh, but I've also got scissors in case I need to use that. I'm not going to be using any ribbon in this arrangement. Uh, I've also got my hot glue gun and I've got some glue sticks ready to go. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is I need to remove uh, everything from this arrangement. I want to bring it down to uh, its bare necessities, which would be the container and of course the styrofoam that's in there. Now, if you don't have an arrangement that you're going to start working on that you can remove things from and you're starting off with a bare arrangement or a bare uh, container, uh, let me show you what you'll need. You will need some styrofoam that will fit into it. Okay, so let me remove all of these items from here and we'll start off with a bare container which is the styrofoam. Okay, so I've taken all the floral stems and the greenery, the candle and the sign that was in my uh, container here. So I'm left with just my container. It's got some styrofoam still in there and it's got some green moss in there. So I've got all my flowers that I removed and actually these little flowers here, the purple ones, are just like the ones from that uh, bush that I showed you with this little lavender purple lavender, whatever you want to call it. It's got some pink in there. Uh, so I'm going to reuse those. And I think I might reuse these because they're really pretty the way they kind of dangle out. And I think they'll, they'll be fine with the colors. Now, the other flowers that I'm going to remove are going to be all these bigger flowers and these roses here. I'm not going to reuse those and I'm not going to reuse uh, these two little roses. So all that's going to get removed, obviously the bows, I'm not going to reuse them. And I'm changing my mind on the candles. I don't think I'm going to reuse those. Okay. So all that's left on here, I am going to use this greenery, by the way. I've got a little bit of fern leaves, and I've got lots of ivy, and I do have more ivy in, a, in another bush in case I need to use that. Okay, so let me just tell you real quick. Uh, to prepare your container, all you need to do is get some styrofoam that will fit into your container. In this case, I have two long green blocks, but I do recall that I put some little pieces inside at the bottom to fill it in really well, and then I just shaved the edges of my uh, styrofoam using a little craft knife. Let me see if I can pull that out. It's, it's just a little knife that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's like a little steak knife. I just refer to it as my craft knife because if you do go to the craft store, they will have a craft knife. But all it is is just a little knife like this or like a paring knife. And you can use that to, to cut into your styrofoam, shave it, whatever you need to do so that it will fit into your container. Especially when you have a container that has some uh, angled um, 
sides like this does and they're kind of rounded so you can just go along the edge of the styrofoam and shave it off and in my uh, video for this one if you want to watch that just that first part where I put the styrofoam in there you'll see how I do that uh, and this is just green moss and I've used these uh, greenery uh, picks so they're also called U pins and this is just so when I put a little cluster of uh, green moss down I can use this and push it down into the styrofoam and that'll hold the moss. Now as you can see there isn't any in the middle and the reason that there wasn't anything here is because I, had, I needed a spot for my candles here and then I have that sign here and I didn't want to uh, put too much moss because a lot of the flowers and things that were going to go in here we're going to kind of cover that. So I really just wanted it on the edge where I felt like it could be seen. Uh, I know that I'm missing a little bit right here on this little edge. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, so that's why I didn't put any moss here. And I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I do have some more in case I feel like, well, I need to fill in here and there. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Leave the moss in there so we can get started on my arrangement. Okay, so I'm ready to change the eggs in my little nest. I'm going to leave that green one in there, but I'm going to pull out the blue one and the pink one. And I'm just going to put them in a the little box with the other little nest. That's a good little storage. And I'm going to take the other little eggs. And because I have a green one here, I'm not going to use this one, which I really do like. You know, as a matter of fact, maybe I will switch it over. Let's switch over the green one as well. And I like the gray. There's a dark one here too, which looks really nice. But I think I'm going to go with those. Okay, so I've got my hot glue gun ready to go. And so I can just put some glue let me see, this one is less speckled, so I'm going to put that side down. Now the other little eggs had like a little stick on them that uh, they used to pull down, but it still had some glue in it, but I'm just going to put some glue, and it'll stick to the moss. I like this side better for the up part, so I'm going to, or to face up, and so I'm going to put glue on the other side, and there we go. Quick little change, that's perfect. You can use this little box and I can use a little rope that was on it to tie it back up so nothing you know falls out okay so now the other thing I did was I measured the area that I want this to go to now uh, where I want it to go I should just say uh, I want my arrangement to be up over on my cabinets in my kitchen up at the top there is a space it's about 12 inches so I really don't want my arrangement to be any more than 11 inches. I, want, I don't want necessarily the, the top of the flowers to be touching the ceiling. So I want to go 11 inches. I'm going to try and stay under that. So I've already measured. Okay, so now that I know how much taller I want, I'm going to keep my ruler here so I can keep comparing uh, the height. Let me move my camera up a little bit more. Having said that I want it up on top of my cabinets, there's going to be a wall behind it so it's not going to get seen from up here. It's actually going to be seen from a lower angle upwards. So you're going to be down here and you're going to be looking up at the arrangement. So pretty much you want to put everything kind of like facing down but looking towards, you know, whoever's looking at it from these angles rather than looking at it from up above and down like this. Okay, I think you, you could kind of understand it. You're standing down here, you're looking up. You want to see some of those flowers facing you like that. So we don't have to worry about the back. But because I'm going to do this in, in a purpose uh, where you can place it wherever you want, I'm going to do a centerpiece. Okay, so if I was doing this for just myself, I would probably put the little nest of, of eggs here kind of forward here and then facing that way, you know, towards the front or even downward, but I could have it a little bit angled like that. That'll be okay. I could still see it from down there. Uh, I would put it right there, but because I'm going to make it into a centerpiece, I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. Now, it doesn't have to be in the middle. It could be off to the side. I tend to like things to be not necessarily asymmetrical. I kind of like things to just kind of be a little bit different, but then add something over here to balance it off, maybe some little extra flowers. So you can put this however you want. So just imagine a little bird coming in, you know, whether it's a tree or some area where they could go into your little garden and maybe that's up high in a box and they want to make a nest in there. They're not going to make the nest right in the middle. They're going to make the nest wherever they can find some space. Even on a tree branch, they're going to look for a little area where they can do that. So you know what? Maybe I think I am going to go a little bit off to the side. So in order to get this uh, in there, but I don't want it like so far in because some of my flowers are going to be this high and I don't want them covering my nest. I don't want to have to like dig through to look to see it. Okay, I want it a little bit high. 
And remember, we don't want to go more than uh, 11 inches, which is about right here, okay? But of course, I don't want my nest way up here. A little bit lower. Some of the little flowers can be around it. So I'm going to go, let's see, that is 10 inches at the most. Let's see, I'm, not, I'm looking at it incorrectly, 8 inches, okay? So that's where I'm going to decide to go. So because it's eight inches and it's got a height here that obviously, you know, how am I going to put this in here? That is why I got these little uh, little wood picks. You can use an, a dowel stick, uh, like an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch that you could cut easily and then uh, stick little pieces into, into the bottom. Of course, you don't want them to be so long um, that, you know, you, your nest is going to end up way up here. So you're going to end up trimming these. But I'm going to use these as is. These just came the way they are. They're left over from some little uh, props that we had for a, a photo frame thing where you, you would stick the items onto these and you could hold this. It was like little masks and little baby things. Okay, so I just put some glue on one of the ends and I'm just inserting it within, within the uh, mesh of the nest. Get plenty of glue on there to make sure. And I'm just looking for a little area where I can push it in through. But also look look at it on this side to make sure you don't push it too far in, okay? So just push it in, and if you feel like, okay, I, I need a little bit more glue, just put some on the outside here, and then just let that dry. All right, once we know that this is dry, we can then compare to our container, because like I said, I don't want it to go more than 8 inches. I'm going to mark it here with my finger. And if I put it against here, my 8 inches is right here, so I can see that it's a little too high. So I'm going to trim these sticks. Now they're obviously not going to go all the way down to here because the uh, there's nothing here and I can't push it all the way down to meet the floor here. I need it to meet inside of the styrofoam. So I'm going to cut it right about right here. And then I can go ahead and insert and then use my ruler to kind of give me a guide as to how far I can push it in. Okay, so let me get my wire cutters. Those will cut the this rod here, the little rods. Let's see. I'm going to start off with cutting about a couple of inches off of them. Oh, if you wanted to know how long they were, they were, let's see, this way. Oh, they were 8 inch long, by the way. So maybe some 6 inch length. But you're going to cut them according to the size that you want. Okay, so I said I wanted my uh, nest to be about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and poke it in without any glue for now. And just slide it in. And I'm going to look on my side to make sure. A little low so I'm going to bring it up a little bit like about right there okay and because these little one of the holes was a little loose I'm going to go a little bit to the side make a brand new hole let's see it needs to go in a little bit more Eight inches is right here, so I'm trying to kind of. It's still a little too high, so I'm going to go down a little bit more. It doesn't have to be exact. That's just what I'm deciding to do. Okay, let me look at it this way. I think that's good. That's about eight inches right here. Okay, so in order for them not to move on me, I'm going to pour some glue in there, make a piece. So now I'm going to start putting some flowers in. And I'm just going to grab one of my stems, push some of these little leaves upward a little bit. And I'm also going to compare to my container and how high it can be. There we go. I don't want it more than uh, 11 inches. So I'm going to cut a considerable amount off my stem. And i got to keep in mind that the stem's only going to get inserted into my styrofoam so much. So I'm holding it like that. And now I turn this around. This is 11 inches right here. This is still a little too high. And rather than pushing it further into the styrofoam, I'm going to trim a little bit more. And I'm just bringing that little leaf on the bottom. If the leaf on the bottom doesn't want to slide up anymore, just remove it. Okay, so now... There's my 11 inches, and I'm going to insert this flower right in the middle, and that's going to give me my height, so then everything else that I put in there will be that height or just a little bit less. So I just pushed it in. I put glue up to the point where my finger was, and I pushed it in, and I'm going to compare it one more time. Look at it. I'm at 10 inches, 
So that's where I'm going to leave that flower. Okay, so now I don't need my ruler anymore. That I can put it aside. Okay, so let's continue. Now, because I put one flower in the middle, I like to also put some on the sides to tell me how far out I want to go. So let me pick some. I'm going to go ahead and pick these two. This one's missing some little flowers on it. Let me see. Let me get another one. Here we go. Okay, since this one's missing some flowers, I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to put it over here where it's missing one. But I'm going to put a little bit of glue just to make sure. Because once you pull it out, it kind of gets loose. So this way you can make sure that it doesn't come out again. And if you have some that keep doing that, glue them in. Now, I'm not going to throw these yet, yeah, these little uh, stems with the leaves on there. Because I could use them in my arrangement. Okay, so now that I've got these two, again, sliding up the leaves. This one I don't need the bottom one because it wouldn't slide up enough. Okay. So now I've got that, and again I'm going to trim off a good amount, and I want these to come out the side, so let me move my arrangement over so that you can see that. Now I don't want it to come out too far, uh, it's up to you how far you want it to flow out, but I don't want this flower to come out too far. So I'm going to actually put this at an angle into my arrangement like that. So then this one I'm going to trim it the same way, about the same length, plus extra to insert into the styrofoam. So there we go, put some glue, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm inserting it. Now there's holes in my styrofoam one where the other stems were, so I'm trying to make a new hole so that uh, it won't be too loose. But yeah, you can use the existing holes, just put some glue in there to make sure the items don't slide out. So this is what I have so far. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put some stems going that way and then some stems going out this other side. So whatever I do to this side here, I'm going to repeat to this side. Okay. It's looking like overview. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did over here. Okay, so now all I want to do is I want to fill in in the middle with whatever of these flowers I might have left. What I did was I compared it to this one. So that I know not to go, you know, not to leave it out too high. Okay, so the last two stems that only have uh, two flowers each, because I have a, um, a nest here, I'm going to go ahead and put these right in here. Kind of balance out the fact that this weight like the, of the nest does not exist on the other side we're going to put extra flowers okay so now i want to start off with these other uh, flowers these lavender ones now these have a little bit of a stem here and one thing about these type of stem this particular one this little bush that i bought uh, they have floral tape wrapped around uh, they're all just like little on little pieces of wire and then wrapped up very uh, carefully and then they're all wrapped together with more floral tape so they don't have this plastic coating over them on the wire it's just floral tape so once you pull them apart like this see how that floral tape just kind of tore off okay and then you have just a bunch of floral tape pieces that just come right off and the reason that I took it off is because this is going to be a little a little too tall and then these were going to pretty much go into the styrofoam, the little leaves. So I took them off and separated them. So when this happens and you get your floral tape that comes off, a lot of times what's going to happen is it can become loose and everything will just come right off and then all your pieces will be separated and then you'll have a stick like that and then you'll have this. And that's fine. This stick didn't have anything to it, but if it did, then and you wanted to keep it on there, well now it's all loose. So what you do is just get some more floral tape and wrap it around 
and that'll give you uh, those two items together. But since this one didn't have anything on it, I can go ahead and remove it. And I'm left with this. But then I'm also left with just a wire showing. Now, I don't necessarily mind it, but I'm going to just do this uh, for the sake of you seeing what to do. I'm going to take some floral tape and just remove whatever little bits of floral tape were on there. And then I'm just going to wrap it brand new with some tape. And this floral tape, you pull it as you wrap it. Okay, and then just squeeze it as you wrap it. Now, I'm not going to put it all the way in, so I'm not going to worry about doing it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, but at least I got this part wrapped up, and we don't see where this plastic part kind of ends abruptly and then it's wire because um, some of that may be showing. And just in case, you know, you, you happen to be looking at your arrangement and you look, you look in and you see that, you won't see it now. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put these little lavender <laughs> flowers in right after all that explanation. And I have another one here ready to go. Put it on either side of this one. Now I want to make sure that they're not much taller than this one because like I said, I only have like about 12 inch space and I don't want these touching. So I need to push them in enough or even bend them so they're not any taller than this middle one here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to continue putting some of these uh, lavender ones and removing these little stems, these little green, uh, this other little leaf off of them. And they're really pretty, so I might just use them. So I'm just putting them here to the side where I could possibly use them. And then I'm just removing this other little stick. I don't need that. And again, I'm going to wrap it up with some floral tape. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare these other little pieces that I have. And then I'm going to decide, because it was only four of them, and I'm going to decide if I want more, because I do have that other bush. Now remember, these are from the arrangement that already existed that I showed you. But at the beginning of my supplies, I showed you that I had this bush, so I can cut off more off of this if I need. Okay. Anything that I put off to the sides, I'm going to kind of bend downward. That also gives them less height. This tape that it has on here is also not very nice. So I'm going to take it off and redo it. Now I only have four and I'm putting two in the middle and then these two I'm facing them this way. So that means I need two more to face outward this way because whatever I do on the sides, I got to repeat over here. I don't have to worry about the middle but I do about this, the side. So I'm gonna to need to cut two more from that bush and then put them opposite of what I'm doing here in the front, just like I did those yellow ones. So you can follow the same thing if you're doing a centerpiece. There you can see the overview of these uh, lavender bits sticking out on each side equally. And then I can just kind of aim these kind of separate. I can do one going that way and then one going this way, the ones in the middle. So that balances that out. Now I feel like I need more. I can add more, but remember I do have these little white ones. And I think I'd like one this way and one this way. Let me make sure, yeah, here we have two that have the little, not only this part, but also has these little white flowers hanging off of them. And I want this to be kind of short, so I'm going to push a leaf up as much as I can, and then trim some of the stem. There we go, and have that kind of hanging outward. That looks so pretty. I know, I know I'm the one creating it, but I think it looks pretty. And it's very important that whatever you create that you think it looks pretty. Even if you're not making it for yourself and it's not your style, you should enjoy it. So when you make something for somebody else, say you're selling them and you're making them and someone wants a specific style that you're not into, but that's what they want. And you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't like it, but that's what they want. So just try to enjoy it for its beauty. <laughs> okay, let me put one in here on this to add some of this white over here. 
right between these two and just let the let that hang whichever way so since that one's hanging this way I'm gonna make I'm gonna have this one hanging out you know back this way and that'll balance that out I wish I had more of this one it is so pretty I love it okay all right so that's what I've got in there so far I like the amount of flowers I'm gonna hold off on these little um, kind of bright green uh, little leaves that I took off these lavender ones I'm gonna hold off on that put it to the side and all my little other leaves because I'm gonna go ahead and take what I had from the arrangement which are all these here and the ferns now I want to use these fern leaves coming out of the sides like they were already before but I feel like maybe this time I want to go a little bit shorter let me see actually if I push them in further they'll become shorter uh, but they still seem like it has too much leaf right here and it kind of wants to crash with this so what I do with these fern leaves once I cut them off the bush can you see that that it has like a little bit of a stem well that stem didn't exist it actually had the a little hard plastic here where it had the little hole where it would insert into a stem that was sticking out of the bush so I took these out and I cut that part off and then all these like little leaves here were all down this way so what I did is I cut along the plastic here and removed so that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's just remove that. And look how much longer the stem. Can you see that? How much longer the stem is? Now, I don't didn't need a longer stem because it was enough to go in there. But I just want to push it further into the styrofoam or rather into my arrangement rather than putting it off the edger because right underneath it I want to put a little ivy. So I'm going to have room for that. But then I didn't want these leaves like pushing on something over here and it's easier for me to see where I'm putting it. If I have it way, you know, if I have it basically shaved off, okay? So now I'm just going to put some glue at a little bit of the little tip there. And then find a little area where I can insert this. And this is going to be coming out of this corner. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I have four of them. And just push it in as far as I want. And the neat thing about it is that I can curve it. So there that one is. So let me do the other three corners okay so I've added the ferns to the corners here and now I've got this ivy that I can now use to fill in all my little bald spots in there and if I see fit I can grab some more of these uh, purple lavender flowers and I can fill it up some more because I do have more of that let's see I've got these really long viney bits here that were at the very ends because I made a really long arrangement and that was supposed to be for a uh, for my farmhouse a wedding uh, so I wanted something like really long so these helped to extend that now I don't need to extend that for this particular case because I have a round table or maybe you have a round a small little square table or no, if you have a really long dining room table, this would be perfect. But if you have something small or kind of square or a small rectangle, then maybe you don't want to extend too far out because here's where the plates are going to go. So you want to keep that in mind, okay? You want to keep in mind how far out you go this way and how far off you go to the sides. Now, I plan on putting this uh, up top some cabinets. And uh, the cabinet that I'm going to put it, there's actually no cabinets to the side here. So I'm wondering if this is maybe going to be too long now that I'm looking at it, the container to sit on top of it. Uh, but it would, if, if it was, I could put those leaves to hang downward because they would then hang off, like here's the, here's the shelf of the cabinet, for example, and then the side here. Well, I would put these leaves to kind of come out of the arrangement so that they could hang off and be on the sides of the cabinet. And that would look really pretty like that uh, but now I'm thinking that maybe it's a little too wide uh, for the cabinet but there is another area up on top that's longer than where I can put it so it's not going to work for where I want to so because I'm making it a centerpiece I'm going to put this on my little round table even though I think it's really wide but right now only my husband and I sit on it uh, so this is just uh, so that you can get an idea of um, of how to create an arrangement like this it's long uh, maybe you'll go a little bit shorter maybe you have a, uh, a shorter container this just happens to be a really long like a metal trough and by the way I did buy this at Hobby Lobby on clearance as well and I've had it for I think since last year so about the same time so I've had it for a while and I decided to use it for that arrangement uh, that I did before 
and I'm just recycling it because I really, really like it. You know what? I had this in my kitchen. I actually had some fruit in there. So uh, some uh, plastic fruit, some artificial fruit will look pretty in here as well. Okay, so I'm going to take these long ones and I'm going to put them in there, but I'm going to push it kind of far in. Way in here. There we go. And then just kind of lead between the flowers and bend the vine. I don't want it to push down on anything. Nope. Okay. Let me make sure. There we go. So I'm leading. It, it was a vine that had two two branches uh, coming out of it. So I've got one leading this way and one leading this way. That way they won't be too long. So I pushed them in way over here. And plus, uh, not only that, but it also fills in this little area with some leaves. So. Uh, to make up for the fact that I don't have another vine that has two branches like that, I have one kind of long and one kind of short. So I'm going to mimic the same thing. The longer one is sticking out this way, so I'm going to go the opposite on the other side. The short one is sticking out this way, so I'm going to go the opposite this way. Okay, so I'm going to continue with my smaller bits of, uh, of uh, ivy that I have here. These are some a little bit taller ones because I do have these a little bit shorter ones. Let me show you the comparison. So I'm recycling what I have, okay? So I'm going to take these longer ones and use them here in the middle. And then these little shorter ones, you know, go underneath wherever I need to under here to add some greenery. So here I've got four pretty tall ones. And I'm going to see which ones are the tallest one. I think these two are the tallest. I'm just going to move this one a little bit so that I can make them even. And I can see that a little leaf came off of this, so I'm just going to trim off the piece. Okay. These two taller ones are going to go right here in the middle. There. And just push them in so they would be about the height of what's here. Now after this it can get pretty complicated to see where exactly I'm placing things. So just uh, take all your ivy pieces and just start filling in. Now I can see back here I see a lot of areas here where I can see the styrofoam as well as I know that from the front you can see a lot of styrofoam. So I'm just going to take all these pieces and I do have another bush of uh, more of these ivy that I can use. So you want to make sure you have plenty of greenery to fill in. If not get some more flowers and push them in there. But this is what it's looking like so far. Now, I could leave it like that and just get some moss and tuck it in there and hide all of that. But I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of this. And I'll be back. I'm just going to tuck whatever I tuck on one side. I do it on the other and then so forth. Okay? You don't need to see that. I'm just going to be filling in. Okay, turn it around. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and get some uh, green moss. If I don't have green moss, I'll use whatever I happen to have. I think I have some Spanish moss that I can fill this in with. Okay, so I'm just going to show you that I take a little cluster of moss. This is just Spanish moss. And just lift up or, you know, separate your leaves and flowers and such. And then just tuck that in and just push it in. And then you can come around and if you have any bits that are sticking out, you can just trim them off with your scissors. And then just move your greenery back into position. Make sure that nothing is being crushed. That all your little flowers are looking nice and perky. And if you look in, you won't see the uh, styrofoam. You'll just see moss. Let me turn this around. You see the other side. Let me just <laughs> fix it. Okay. And then also you want to go and go around and remove any um, traces of, you know, the uh, hot glue, you know, the little webs, the little strings. So you want to remove that. All right, everyone, I have completed my floral centerpiece. And I even added a little bird right there in the nest. I know the eggs are kind of big compared to the little egg, uh, to the little bird. But I think it looks really cute. 
nice and yellow and bright and it just adds a little more uh, light to this area of my arrangement because I do have a lot of yellow here and I wanted some over here as well. Uh, he's just a little clip-on bird. Uh, I may have gotten at the Dollar Tree. I'm not really sure. Maybe at Hobby Lobby. Uh, but they do have little things like this at the Dollar Tree, by the way. They do have nice little flowers that you could also use for your arrangement at the Dollar Tree. So just get them from wherever you can find them, or if you already happen to have some, or just reuse them from another arrangement that you want to take apart and reuse some of the flowers and, you know, maybe make some match. All right, everyone, there is my tutorial for this day for this craft and uh, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed it so I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up leave, me, leave a nice comment down below letting me know uh, what you think of my arrangement what would you do differently and um, if you have any ideas of any future videos please go right ahead and uh, put that in the comments below you can also follow me at on Facebook at uh, Trisha's Creations and you can also leave your comments, you can leave pictures of projects that you've done, and you can share your recipes as well. All right, everyone, make sure uh, that you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. Make sure you hit the little notification bell so you get notified of when I put up videos, which is twice a week. Please share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.